Keys are the main currency in BG Bedwars and such, people wanted to obtain as many of these as possible. These keys are used to purchase lots of in-game items in Bedwars such as privilege buffs, chests, and many more. Ever since, the method of getting keys remained the same, you play games, try to win it, and be rewarded. Even though it is as plain simple as it is, getting keys became harder and harder as the game asks for too much. Now just a quick recap from the intro, keys are pretty much straightforward to obtain. You play games of Bedwars and try to win, then be awarded with keys. The amount of which you get this per win is disappointing however. 6. Yeah, that's a lot. Every completed match, you are awarded from 2 to 6 keys depending on your placement. Beware though, this is not the only way you can get keys. You can also get keys from seasonal passes, Bedwars events, previously fragments, and many more to name but you get the idea of how keys are obtained. So what's the deal? Keys are used to purchase and open chests in the Bedwars lobby in order to get runes, privilege, buffs, skins, and many more items. Because of how long these futures exist, players have adopted this system and accepted the grind for chests and runes no matter how flawed it is. If you have played PG since 2019, you may remember that 12 keys used to be rewarded for every win with a maximum of 24 for every ads. All of this changed with the 1.12.1 update in BG which was released on May 28, 2020. The rate which you get keys was nerfed by 50%, basically half of what you usually get, and nothing has changed ever since. This infuriated many players as grinding keys would take twice as long as before, without any reasons from the developers. This became more disappointing since the rate of getting good runes from chess is also nerfed in the 1.13 updates and so on. So around the release of the 1.12 updates, players including me found a very fast way to obtain keys, by getting on older versions. By going on to the version 1.11.37 which was the last update that would give you 12 keys per win, you can obtain an insane 250 keys per hour with a good party and good luck. Since this would be an outdated version at the time, servers in this version would typically be dead and will be filled with 1-2 to two players per team making faster games and an easier grind. I even had a tutorial on how to do this type of key grinding back then. But don't comment me how to make this work or why does it not work anymore. Just understand that this is already fixed years ago. Now let's move on and talk about other ways to obtain keys. Other than completing games, season passes are one of the many examples of other ways to get keys. But this is not as game-changing as Fragments. On August 28, 2020, after being teased for so long, BG added Fragments, which are collectible puzzle pieces you need to complete to get rewarded. This includes Key Fragments, which gives you an outstanding 1 key. I'm just joking. 1000 keys at most. This indeed helped a lot of players in saving time grinding for high level runes or just saving keys in general. Over time, people found ways to exploit the system by creating lots of accounts and farming fragments specifically for key fragments. But this eventually came out as an inefficient method as fragments obtained are random. And you guessed it, 1000 key fragments are one of the rarest out of all. Although this exploit was found to be worse than actually playing games, key fragments did help players obtain more keys after all. On March 4, 2021, there was a new secret version for BG that was discovered by someone unknown. 
This guy managed to give words to other YouTubers about this mysterious version and it is called the dev test version or dev build version or debugging version or whatever you want to name it. Debugging versions include tools in a video game used in its development and testing, the use of which typically enables players to cheat, modify the game's behavior, or perform diagnostics. This perfectly describes what this mysterious version was. It includes many tools used for testing and making sure things are working in BG. The reason why it is included in this video is that this version includes infinite keys and the menu only contains Chinese with barely any English, which actually makes sense since BG is mainly developed in China. Now let's go back with the keys. Players can simulate the opening of diamond chests with this infinite amount of keys. Now don't be confused if players actually got millions of keys as this version is separate from the main server in BG, making exploitations impossible using the new dev build. So why are players so addicted in getting lots of keys? I would tell you, people are not addicted to getting keys, but people are addicted to getting runes and being more powerful overall in BG Bedwars. You see, runes can only be obtained through keys if you are talking about the free-to-play way or in the other hand by paying money for seasonal passes. Just like I said earlier, although the whole system and idea of getting keys by playing a lot is really broken and unfair when it comes to new people playing the game, most people fell for the trap and just accepted how it is no matter how bad it is designed. Now about the keys nerf, in May 28, 2020, the update 1.12.1 was released with the 50% key nerf, basically halving all keys that you get within matches. Why do you think so? For me, the developers decided to nerf keys in order to get players into playing more, specifically twice as more. This caused the buying of seasonal passes more valuable, as it includes a lot of keys and items that can be bought with keys, without changing the price, meaning more profit. So to conclude, just like my pay to win explain video, BG developers never gets fond of money. Going back, through all my years and months playing and grinding keys, I would admit that I wasted a lot of time for nothing, as it all ends up being worth almost zero. But what I did earn is experience, friendship, and the strive to reach a goal. So how about you? What are your thoughts about keys in general? Let me know in the comments once again, subscribe, enjoy, and stay safe everybody.